Hey, hey, hi. So we are in Solchava. Solchava. And it was really hit by the floods. We walked in here. And um, the town is kind of functioning, but they're kind of, um, they, they're they doing okay, but they they shut it down to just help everybody recover. Yes, so they totally have it organized. They're running it out of the tourist office, feeding and Yep, feeding people, organizing. working, a lot of workers. And the roads are the biggest problem. So, like, so Chava is like here in the valley, and then it goes down. There's a couple little, there's a couple little towns down here. And the lower that you are in the in the valley, the worse the flood was for yeah. you. And on down from here, Luce was really bad. Yeah. So the roads are closed, and it's just a mountain town that has a road that runs through it. So well, they're the one, they're having a hard the time with that. The one young woman told us the roads are completely gone, like they completely washed gone. away. So we so they they're close to tourist stuff now. For one, people can't get in here, but they're just trying to keep the roads open for emergency people. So this woman working down here is going to give us a ride. She's heading out of here. There's a road that you could go out into Austria and around. It's actually the town, your Jeco or something like that, that we would end at. Yeah, so we would, yeah, yeah, we would start stage three here and end there. So we have to skip the trail in stage three right now. And if we can get there, which would be great, they all think that we could go on, that it's really, everything's starting to get back to normal except these little areas here. So they, that's our plan. So that's where the huts were closed on the side we were coming in from, because the valley is closed, so people can't get up from the valley. So they closed all those huts, they closed the huts on this side, and when you're trying to do a hut-to-hut -hut trip, that makes it hard. So we met this woman, we came down through this farmland up there, and she's so sweet speak in English like nobody's business. We told her like, wow, you speak good in English. She was like, I didn't even learn in school. I just learned from my kids. Amazing. She was amazing. But she told us to come here, go to this tourist center and somebody will help us. And she said she'd call ahead and they would help us kind of, um, people are always heading out and we could hitch a ride with somebody out of here. So that's kind of our plan now. But anyway, this little town is just so beautiful. It's in this Logar Valley. It's a big, huge tourist destination, which they're missing out on tourists at this point. This is their high season right now. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna start, um, we're gonna go find a room and regroup and hopefully, replan and move hopefully forward. Hopefully the next time we'll make it to Yezersko. And move forward. And then we'll move forward from there. That's our hope. Anyway, we have to replan, but that's okay. All right, okay, take bye. it away. Look at this vending machine. Eggs. It's a local farm has this vending machine that has cheese and milks or yogurts. Amazing. Good morning. Hi. So we, um, you know, we got into Solchava like we told you. A woman was going to give us a ride out, but we ended up getting a ride with a firefighter because he was going that way. And you cross into Austria and then back into Slovenia. And um, he dropped us off at a certain point. We had about 10 kilometers to walk. We walked like 20 feet, I'm telling you. And we put our thumb out and this Rourke picked us up and drove us all the way into town. It was it's awesome. Great. It's great. It was the fastest hitchhike pickup we've ever done. And gotten. he was just fun. So um, we stayed at Savet Savet Gora. Gora. It's it's called glamping and B and B. I'm sure Sivet we're Gora. saying Savet wrong. It's yeah. C V E T. But 
But anyway, she was fat Tanya, was Tanya, fabulous, and amazing. her husband. One wonderful place, but they didn't have rooms, but they had tent sites. So we stayed for two two nights. We had breakfast. If you're ever fabulous. in this neighborhood, we totally recommend staying there. Was, I mean, so well run, and it's just cool. It's just a cool <laughs> place. Awesome. She's great. And... So we are. So we thought we had to skip all of stage three, because if we would have come from Sochava, we would have end over the mountains. We would have ended at this town, but we, talking to people, realized this side of the mountains open. So we are right now going to start hiking up stage three from this side and do as much as we can. It might be kind of up and back, we, but we're planning on camping and there's a few huts that are open. So we're going to do as much of stage three as we can and then come back down and start stage four. Yeah, so just go, we're just kind of, we're going to just go check it out and see what we can do. Yeah. The best, the best way, right? See what we can do. And these are the Savinia, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Kamnik Alps. Yeah. Savinja and it's Savinja. Spectacular. Yeah. Okay, take you guys yeah. away. Okay, bye. burning stove it looks like we have uh, oh, yeah, they do here's this hut and look at this trolley system they have to take their bottles and trash down probably whatever they need to it goes down that other side it's amazing table. this is our view for dinner yeah. right here it's not much but mm. Right up there is a couple of goats. <laughs> you can see those brown spots. <laughs> right? Uh, there. It's raining.
is our hut from this morning. We're doing a day hike across to this other hut and then we'll go back and spend the night over there. Super hard, I mean, golly. Some of it is via Ferrata, some of it's just cable assist, which is what we're doing, but it's still hard. Beautiful though. And then tomorrow, we climb up here. Hey, hey, look at our little table at the top of the mountain. Hey, that was, what a little trek that was. Wow, you guys, that cable assist. My, oh my God. So, uh, yeah, something different. Not your everyday hike, for sure. Super fun, but we got to go back because we're back. We're going to stay at that hut over there. So we got to go back across it. But we're going to get up to this hut first. Still have a ways to go, but yeah, fun. Yeah, cool, though. I mean, really something unique, for sure. My gosh. Unbelievable. Now you have to steal your courage to go back. <sighs> All right, look at these Alps behind us. Yippee! This is a big hut. This hut is under construction, though. So it is not open. Open some, they say, for drinks or something, but... Weekend. Yeah, from the weekends. Hey, they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, here's another trail that comes in. So, if we would have done our normal route, we would have come this way down to here. Then we would have been back up and all the way around this mountain and down to this other hut that we're at now. So, we've just had to change our plan a little bit, but it's okay. It's super cool. Beautiful view. to our hut. Fabulous. <laughs> so fun. Oh my god. Fresh food. <laughs> 
So this is our hike for the day. We're gonna go straight up this thing and then the top is covered with clouds, but we're gonna climb up there. So you can walk up to about right here and then you have the cable assist route to the top. And we're gonna do the Grintelintz, I think it's called. It's gonna be fun. We're getting our helmets. Um, well, this one has an adjuster. our hut Woo. had some low clouds today we're walking up towards them it's hot the sun's out and it is hot look at how beautiful though it's really beautiful the clouds Taking a little snack break on the side of the mountain here. Look at that beauty. This is absolutely amazing, spectacular. You just have to keep yourself your focus. You have mm -hmm. to keep yourself, keep talking to yourself because it's it's parts of it are scary. You yeah. know, you're just like, okay. Yeah. You just have to keep, you know, take your time, be careful, be super careful, be, you know, stay on task because, whoo. Stay focused. Yep. Unbelievable. I don't know if I can get anything behind us down there, but it's a drop off back there. And I'm sitting on an uncomfortable rock. Yee Look at our little flag. Woohoo! Love I it. Feel so Love it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming with.
Well, we got off the climbing part. Now we just got to make our way down to the cabin on this loose rock. But that's okay. <laughs> so mentally, emotionally, and physically challenging right there. That was unbelievable. It was kind of fun. So fun. <laughs> Back home, we have spent three days right here in this, three nights right here. Tonight will be three nights right here in this hut. It's one of my, our favorite. Food has been great. The people are amazing. So we'll spend the night here tonight and then head out. So we just get, are coming down from the hut. We're gonna go into Yerzeshko again and maybe try to stay at the glamping at Savet Gora before we start stage four. Time to get back on track. Because that was the best time ever. I'm so glad that we were able to go up to that hut and hang out for as long it as we was, did. It was just sweetness. Gosh, gift. It's like sometimes the door closes, like when we couldn't do section three, but then something spectacular happens. That's why you just let it unfold. But wow, that was a gift. Wow. Okay, check in later. Bye. Don't. Oh, 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 oh